So there are a number of global trends that are putting pressure on our planet and on our capacity to maintain the lifestyle that we've come to enjoy. So we're expecting to see 9 billion people uh, on the planet by 2050, up to 12 billion by the end of the century. We're also seeing the wealth of that population change and increase. And with that comes a demand for particular consumables. And then the third trend that we're seeing is the unsustainable consumption and production patterns uh, amongst that population. So those three trends that we've picked up are putting enormous pressure on our capacity to be able to feed ourselves and perhaps most importantly on our capacity to maintain our climate. And so the technology that we're working on is based on algae and they have basically evolved over three billion years to absorb sunlight, convert that sunlight and carbon dioxide which they catch from the atmosphere into biomass. And you can use this biomass for producing food and fuel and a whole range of high value products. You typically hear that we have lots of fossil fuels and plenty of time, but we recently published a paper showing that over the last 60 years we've had relatively linear trends of energy rise, but they exclude about 50% of the population who don't have much energy. And if we want to pull them out of poverty, our energy demand will go like this. And so our ability to burn fossil fuels will go like that. And so now we're in a situation that we have to transition really quickly. So not only is the Centre for Solar Biotech dealing with climate change and the need to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, but it's also producing products that will lessen the demand that we have, for example, for fertilisers. I, I suppose what really impressed me about Ben's work and the Centre's work is that intersection between climate, energy, food and water. Um, and frankly, if you're looking for the challenges to fix, they're the challenges. Australia gets 55 times more solar energy every year than we need to power the entire planet. And I think that solar-powered fuel production, solar-powered electricity production, and actually solar-powered industries have a huge potential. If you can generate solar-powered industries, which is what we're trying to do with, with the algae work, you can reduce the fuel demand and the electricity demand that you have. And we've already heard that methane prices are rising and pricing a lot of Australian industry is out of the market. We have more sun than almost anywhere else on the planet. If we use this as a competitive advantage, for our manufacturing sector, this would be amazing.